that was going on for about 20 minutes. So her husband is pleased about it. I said, what if they stop me? Sometimes good things happen, sometimes bad things happen, right? Oh, too many things to think about sometimes. Like you're changing vehicles, multiple bags, kids, cameras. To be honest, when I, when I lose stuff like this, I never worry that a tie would take it. So Otis and I have been hatching a plan and what better place to do it than the bridge over there with a quay or the quay here. And um, the sunset here, sun's about to go down. We just ordered some food and we've decided that we've had enough of the tourist area and we decided we want to go off the beaten track. So what are we going to rent now? What have we decided to rent? What rent? Well, we're not having a motorbike, so we're going to rent a car. We've decided to rent a car and we're going to drive off the beaten track a little bit into the national park and going to check out some locations there such as Nam Tok Erawan, Erawan Waterfall and some other scenic destinations along the way. i got to say we really relaxed on this trip. It's been a very, um, it's been quite a lot of intense bonding for me and Tis to be honest. From the moment we wake up at like 7am it's just talk, 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 talk to each other and I take a lot of opportunities to teach him things. How do you order from a menu? Small things like this. How do you draw money from the ATM? How are you booking in the hotel? How are you, um, which restaurants to choose? The, the busy ones rather than the quiet ones. And I think he's just learning a lot. For a six year old traveling, he's, he's learning a lot. And actually I'm gonna be sharing a top tip with you guys. I've discovered a very a useful extension to Google Chrome. It is uh, Directo. Directo is an extension to your Google Chrome browser. You can select it up in the top right hand corner here and browse different accommodation through their extension. And what that's gonna do is take you directly to the hotel's website. And that's gonna compare prices from booking with Airbnb and booking.com with what it's gonna cost booking directly with the hotel. And you compare the prices as you can see here and you're going to save money because they're going to give you a better deal. And so in booking this resort for this trip, I've used Directo in order to book us into a really nice place. And I got it at this discounted price, as you can see. And I can definitely recommend this wherever you're traveling in the world. Download Directo as an extension to your Google Chrome and double check that you're getting the best rate on hotels and resorts. Uh, booking through them can be significantly cheaper. And we found them very, very useful on this trip. So a bit of egg. Go. That was going on for about 20 minutes. Someone had to make sure it stopped. Morning goal. So this is where we start the adventure part of the trip. We have got to go and get a car now and rent a car. Last night was a little bit of a topsy-turvy sleep, mainly because I was in parenting mode. And when I'm in parenting mode, I have to wake up and check on this all the time. It's just like, um, I can't even control it. I just have to get up and make sure he's okay every like hour. We had some rain yesterday, but it's looking like it's cleared up fully. And so it's gonna be a perfect day for what we need to get done, especially a perfect day driving. I, I mean, was really hoping it wasn't gonna like pour it down with rain um, because I gotta drive. So we're actually renting the car from the same place that we re rented the bike from. And it's this lady here. Some may remember the budgie lady with all of the birds. She's got all the budgies here. All hanging around the door. I think this is going to be the real fun part of the trip, the road trip, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the countryside as we drive. We're going to be taking it slow. We don't, we're not rushed to get there. And we'll make a couple of stops along the way if there's anything scenic to see. Um, this is the fun part, you hit the open road and get into the nature away from the, uh, the hustle and the bustle of the Kanchanaburi city. This is going to be our ride here and I think this will do very nicely. Tiss and I hitting the open road in a swift no less.
Ooh. Tiss always checks wherever we go, in a, into a cafe or in a car or whatever. He's like, oh, it's got air. <laughs> that's like a, that's farm boy for you. Right, let's pack this car up and let's get on the road, guys. Oh, and no gears, yeah. No gears, automatic. So, Suzuki Swift, never driven one of these before. So, this will be a, a, a new one. I don't know if we've got Bluetooth. Let's see. I don't think so. Looks like we will be listening to the Thai radio, guys, with all the, the, the Thai music on. Sami bin Tamruat, La Thai Ta Tamruat Jot Pomla. I just bought one. Bin Tamruat Farang. Police sticker. Okay, great. So her husband is police, apparently. I said, what well, if they stop me? They're going to think we're police, Tess. Really? We've got a police sticker right there. <laughs> Are you police? <laughs> I'm going to say Tess is police. I say, yeah, he's police. Be careful. Don't mess with us. So we're protected <laughs> on the way. Uh, very nice people here. So we're coming up here into the mountains. Now it's very, very beautiful. At first I thought, oh, we're not going to have any scenery because... Tiss and I were counting the number of 7-Elevens. How many 7-Elevens were there, Tiss? Twelve. Twelve 7-Elevens. I forgot to mention also there's elephants all around here, so there's a lot of signs saying elephant crossing. You gotta be careful because this zone is quite famous for having many, many elephants. And these are wild elephants, so have to be a bit careful. And yeah, nice beautiful viewpoint here, right in between all of the mountains, just by the road. Little pit stop. On our journey here I can tell you the weather is perfect for this trip guys I think if I didn't have Otis and Hugo my sons I don't think I would even bother coming on these trips again because I've been on them years ago kind of seen it but then traveling with him you're just seeing it for all new eyes like he's so excited to potentially see elephants here because there's a lot he's excited to see the mountains um, to experience all the places that we've been here and so it's really motivating to show him the next thing and the next thing and we're going at our own pace and as I mentioned in this vlog he's never been a problem he never moaned never never been any issue it's gone absolutely swimmingly let's say so a quick pit stop here at we've got a strawberry farm here I didn't realize this time of year was good for strawberries because it's quite hot but you can see growing quite epically here soil coconut very healthy plants with an automatic watering system can you see any with strawberries on or not there's lots of like little interesting stops like this on a road trip in Thailand lots of little cafes you can stop in little farmers areas plant places for sure <laughs> look at all those Ooh, they, look juicy. they look juicy they look even more juicy don't they yeah. they look the juiciest Song Roy, huh? Okay, I'll only cup. 200 for some fresh strawberries. Fresh strawberries, guys. Why not? So we're arriving here, arriving at Poonapat. That's where we're staying. A bit out in the middle of nowhere, I gotta say. But it was highly rated. Practically off roading here. Look at the mountain we're under, Tis. Here. Yeah. Is that the place? That's where we're going to stay. There? Hmm. Mm. I can sleep under that banana tree. <laughs> and you sleep under that one, yeah? Okay. Right, come on then, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's this, this way, this way. So I've just realised we forgot the drone. <laughs> back in the in the in the motorbike inside the actual a seat so and our hats maybe maybe someone take our motorbike already i know that's what i'm thinking maybe that's that's it that goes so i'm going to try and call the woman now oh, too many things to think about sometimes like you're changing vehicles, multiple bags, kids, cameras. So we'll see. I'm just trying to think what else is in there. There's quite a lot of equipment in there. Oh no, it's not connected. Oh 
Oh, this is not good. Have a gold hat. I don't know if we're going to have to go back and get it. I don't know if we go back, no. And this is the place we need the drone too. Really? Because it's so beautiful. <laughs> what did I tell you happens on adventures? Sometimes good things happen, sometimes bad things happen, right? We're carrying like multiple bags. So I put it inside the scooter, inside the, uh, the thing. Chai! คนคนคนเฮนเลอร์ใช่มั้ยครับอ๋อใช่ค่ะมีกระเป๋าอยู่แล้วก็มีหมวกอ่าโอเคเก็บไว้ที่นู่นได้มั้ยเราจะกลับ
we would have had to go back tomorrow to get it and drive over an hour and then another hour back again and would have cost us probably about 300 baht in petrol or something like that but then i had an idea i'll go send a grab for it so a grab now is gone getting it and he's bringing it and he's charging 500 so we're paying extra like 200 that it would have cost probably and we don't have to have the hassle of driving all the way back and coming all the way back and breaking up our day and whatnot so that gives us time to enjoy these beautiful places here and so we've come to this cafe it's called lakeview cafe i think we got a nice coffee here and maybe even check out their menu and the grab driver is en route nice place to sit here lakeview quite idyllic i think this might, place might be more for like couples <laughs> might be a, a couples destination but i think it's good for families too so originally i had the grab going back to our hotel but then we've come out for a coffee we're all over the place guys so i've now changed it to come to the cafe and give us the drone what a world we live in i can tell already this ain't going to be my cup of tea so to speak uh, it's a little bit too strong for me and not so creamy the key is in the creamy texture oh no i'm mistaken i think actually not bad i give it to this six out of ten it's all right it's not bad because i like it a little bit more creamy than this and a little bit less coffee so i hope it was worth getting the drone and bringing it and getting it here i think it will from the beauty of these nature shots i know a lot of my subscribers are not actually that into the whole panoramic stuff and the nature stuff like and, and the the kind of scenic stuff they're more interested in like the thought process the um more like lifestyle kind of stuff the day-to-day -day, very everyday stuff that's the kind of feedback that i've received in the comments the day in the life stuff the very down-to-earth stuff so but i think i'll make an exception on this time I didn't take the drone up to Pi, and I want to make an exception on this, this trip because I just know it's so beautifully scenic here. To be honest, when I, when I lose stuff like this, I never worry that a Thai would take it. Thais don't take stuff. I've had my wallet returned so many times. Um, they, they don't take stuff from you. They, they return stuff. They believe in bad juju. So I, if a Thai rented that motorbike and found it in there, they bring it back. If a Farang rented it, I'm not so sure sometimes. Here's the guy, I think. I think this is him here. So cool, yeah. Hello, cab. What do you have? Hello, cab. Home. So here we are. Cab. There's your hat, Tis. My trusty hat. And drone. Call come my cab. We got one drone here in the bag, returned safely. Any me tip do I cab? Call come my cab. We got the drone, Tis. He just loves that car. It's an MG, that. Really? Yeah. That was a job well done. A little mini mission. Hopefully I don't crash it in the bloody water, like most times when I use the drone. And the drone arrives just as the food arrives. So you got a nice pack up our guy with a, with a soup and egg. So we're going we're gonna to finish up here, then head back to the room, settle in a little bit and hopefully take the boat out now we have our hats. Right, come on, let's go out on the boat. Let's go. I think this is the first time we've been able to come and just sit down and appreciate a place. I think those that travel a lot, you know, you're always rushing from one place to another. 
you never actually get to appreciate a place. But sometimes you get to a place and it just stops you. I feel like that in Koh Lanta when I go. I got some favorite places like Koh Lanta, an area of Koh Chang and another couple of islands that I don't vlog because they're a little bit secret. And um, I feel that way here too, where you can just stop, slow down and appreciate it. It's um, special. So two nights here and I'm, I'm sure that it will slip away very fast. Time just slips away, doesn't it guys? Like you try and make the most of something, breathe it in. But you know, the sun rises, the sun sets, the new day comes. And um, I've been thinking a lot this trip about a story I've never told before on the channel. It's about my grandmother. I was very close with my grandmother up in, up in her house uh, where she used to live. It was a bit of um, a stable environment for me when things were not so stable, was when I was younger. And we were very close. We used to stay up all night talking. And I remember before I came to Thailand, um, this was about this was 15 years ago, she was kind of on her deathbed. So she was really at the end of her life. And we said goodbye to each other and we spent some time and I left for Thailand and then she passed away a little bit later. And I always regret that I wasn't there to, to be with her during that, that time. My dad told me that it was very quick and that um, she also was somewhat delusional. So she couldn't, she didn't really know what was going on. And so she probably wouldn't have known I was there anyway. But um, the, the time that I said goodbye before, time, before coming to Thailand, I think we spent about an hour together. And I think she knew because she gave me a hug and she said goodbye and I love you. And I think she knew this, she, this was her last uh, moments on, on, the, on, on the planet. So she knew. I didn't know. I was so young and excited about traveling and stuff like that. Yeah, I just in my head I thought oh, she'll be here when I get back. I mean, she's going to get better, you know. She wasn't going to get better. But I often think, oh, I wish I'd taken more time. When I look back, you can't when you're young. You just don't know. I wish I'd taken more time than an hour with her. I've been thinking about a lot that a lot of that this trip. I think maybe because me and Tiss are spending such quality time together, and I wonder if he'll remember these days. And if he doesn't remember them, they're all on the YouTube, so he can watch them back. I'd love to watch a vlog of me and my grandmother together in my younger days. Uh, we're very close, and no time is time enough. Had I spent two hours, three hours, four hours, I probably still would look back and think, oh, I wish I'd stayed for a few days and uh, said goodbye. No, you said what I said what I needed to say, and, and that was it. So, and I don't know why I've been thinking about that a lot this trip. I think maybe just the idea of time and seeing myself get older and my son get older and you and the importance of spending quality time together with somebody that you love. So that's been on the mind, this one. Not in a, in a macabre or kind of melancholic way, in kind of a, a positive way. Um, relationship, the relationships we have with the people that we love the most and are close to the most, they are the most important things in the life that we live. Not necessarily the money we earn, not the place where we live, not the places where we travel. It's those connections and relationships which are, I think, most important in life. And that's kind of what we have here and what I have with family in general.